When you're debating pseudoscientists about science, often what will happen when they start to get cornered is that they will try and drag the conversation into philosophy. When they do that, this is a line of questioning that I recommend that you employ. Better yet, hit them with this stuff right off the bat. I call it the October 13th protocol. Let's make sure that we're both on the same page. So just to recap, the October 13th protocol assumptions are as follows. You're real, I'm real, God's real. He loves us, he doesn't lie to us. We can trust our senses. God created the universe and created life. He usually works through natural processes. Supernatural interventions leave a trace. And where you want to invoke a miracle, you have to justify it with some evidence. And the Bible can count as evidence, though it might not be definitive. Where there is no trace of a miracle, then it's less likely that such a miracle occurred. Lastly, things work the same way in the past as they do now, unless you want to point to a reason why that isn't so. You agree with those premises? Well, I, you went by kind of fast. There's several I've already discussed. I said, I'm not sure we can always trust our senses. Any magician can tell you that, you know, sleight of hand and uh, people get the med medical problems or physical problems. So I, subject okay. to things like <clears throat> things like that, where there's a problem with your body or there's a problem with somebody deliberately fooling you like a magician. Subject to those that, are, we can trust your senses. Those are the right? two exceptions I can think of right off the bat. If I, if I knew the debate was on this topic, I could have come up with more, but go ahead. All right. Well, if you come up with more specific ones, then we can, we can talk about those. But subject to those for now, you're comfortable with that set of assumptions, right? I'm comfortable to, to the point I understand it. Yes, sir. And you're comfortable agreeing to it? Again, as far as I understand it, yes. Great. Amazing. Well, I'm sure that's going to help uh, a lot, not just in these debates, but in lots of your debates. If you'd like more detail on exactly how I pinned him down and forced him to agree to all that stuff, there's another video on my channel where the um, a longer version of this is posted. I hope you enjoy.